Join me on the Tahoe Lifestyles and Dining Show where we will explore all the fun and great food in the Lake Tahoe Basin. My friend, yeah. and uh, we have Wine Wednesdays we're going to talk about and what's happening at the, uh, at, at, at the Poor House over the next several days. And you've got a new chef coming in? Yeah, we, uh, we're, we're you know, promoting from within, and yeah. uh, our lead cook, Lily, is uh, going to be entering the apprenticeship program uh, in conjunction with you know, my new job at Lake Tahoe Community College. Okay. I'm the apprenticeship coordinator down there, uh, and Advance is helping us out as too. And so this is a way to kind of give back to the community and really bring people up from, from the ground up. Yeah. into the organization so she's going to be entering the apprenticeship program there uh, with me as a director uh, you know helping uh, teach her the things in the kitchen and that kind of thing so we're really proud of that yeah. and uh, you know that goes back to my roots as an educator yeah. and you know try to you know provide an environment where everybody gets to learn something great every day on training yeah, yeah you know not yeah. a better way to do it now let's shift gears let's, go, let's talk about wine Wednesdays we have we have Flora Springs yeah so Richard's coming up from Flora Springs and going to talk about the wines uh, a shard a Sauvignon Blanc, a Cabernet Sauvignon, and then we're also going to taste Trilogy, which is a claret blend okay. uh, that we're going to have tonight as well. And uh, this winery is out of St. Helena, and uh, uh, Flora Combs, uh, who uh, really revitalized the, the winery back in 1978, um, you know, is, is responsible, one of the leaders in uh, women in wine mm -hmm. industry. Uh, and uh, so, you know, that that's kind of a, you know, I like to tie that in a little bit because, you know, it shows uh, you know the the impact that women are having in in the wine ma making yeah. industry, and so we can talk more about that tonight. Richard will be there, kind of telling you the history and and tasting the different wines, you know, which is a great opportunity to learn more. The story is what it's all about. Yeah, you know, you can exactly. drink the wine, you can taste the wine, and you, and you can appreciate the wine. But when you get the backstory, you know, how did this place come about? You know, the the winery was basically dilapidated in the, in the early 70s, and uh, uh, the Flora Combs was responsible for revitalizing it bringing it back up to a, to a state, uh, you know, a premier state in the wine industry in that area. And, and you know, that, that shows the gumption and the, the fortitude and, you know, and the, and the stick with itness that she had to kind of see the vision for the winery. I'm so, going to steal that word, stick with it? Stick with itness. <laughs> stick with itness. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a new word for me right there. That's well, awesome. you know, it's hard to say that. Yeah, it <laughs> you know, is. After a late night uh, watching satellites with Johnny Walker. So, uh, there you go. Anyway, um, but, yeah, I, you know, it's a great, it's yeah. a great ambiance down there, the live music is playing, oh, yeah. you know, bring your uh, sunscreen, wear a hat, you know, the the, 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 the patio is going to be in full blaze uh, this afternoon with, uh, and, you know, we hope that, you know, if you don't get a spot on the beach, that you come down and, uh, and hang out in the, in the patio. Yeah, you know, you know you, what you guys have created down there is such a, it's, su it's such a neat little, it's a, it's a great place to go because it is, you're, you're sitting there as you drive in, you're on Highway 50, right? So you're coming around the Y and that's just a busy area, but as soon as you turn into the crossing and park and you walk over to the poorhouse, you've got the, the big garage doors that open up, music seven days a week. It's accessible by a bike trail. Yeah, bike trail's right behind us. And I mean, it, it's a step away and you're, you don't hear the hustle and bustle of what's going on and then what you guys have going together is so fun. So, yeah. and you can walk in. And, so tell me a little about the wine well. So our viewers out there, if you're coming up for the weekend, you gotta wanna walk in and check out Mark's wine well. It's really cool. What do you have on yeah, tap? Yeah, so 20 taps, they're self-pour. We give you a little card, which we records how much you pour, but you can pour a tenth of an ounce to a, you know, five ounces, six ounce glass, whatever you want. You yep. know, you, it's your chance to to learn a little bit more about the wines. It's touch screen. You can read about where the location is, what's the terroir, uh, what you're going to taste within that wine. Yep. You can challenge yourself to see if you taste those flavors. And it's a great wine education as you go along. Uh, Twelve whites, a couple rosés, uh, some uh, eight reds, all on, on tap uh, for you to enjoy. We also have a discovery bar, which is brings in uh, wines like Flora Springs, okay. which are you know s minor producers don't produce as much as needed for Rayleigh's and Bevmo and that kind of stuff. So it's a great way to explore those wineries from a seat at the poorhouse. Um, and the our associates there will help uh, guide you through that process. You tell them what you like. We can tell you the wine that that uh, will fit with your likings uh, the best, and then pair it with the food. I mean we're 
we're doing some great things with yep. the food. You know, yep. we mentioned, you know, Lily moving into the, the apprenticeship program. I mean, but that's, you know, that's my background. Yep. Uh, educator, been a chef for 40 years, Rich Carlton trained. It's, uh, it's a great place to come and, and really kind of blend the two together. Food, wine, ambiance, music. Uh, we're rebranding the crossing. It's, you know, a great place for people to connect. Yeah. You know, it used to be called the Y, but now it's a crossroads. So that's what they call the crossing. And, and it's a great way for people to connect with each other, hang out after work, uh, enjoy the sunsets. Boy, was that a nice sunset yeah. last night. Oh, oh my beautiful. God, beautiful. So uh, come on down to yeah. the Tahoe Poor House and experience it. And to wrap it up, you know, again, the crossing right there located at the Y. Music seven days a week. Amazing wine selection. Tonight is Wine Wednesdays. So you get a nice little pairing right there. You can get a dinner. So stop on in Tahoe Poor House. Go to the website, TahoePoorHouse.com. We'll be right back with your local weather.